Good morning, Miramar, and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Tamara G. As always, you can check us out on all of our social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at City of Miramar. And there are so many things that are happening in the city of Miramar. Uh, one of the reasons why is because our good mayor who is here with us, Wayne M. Messam, uh, is always championing things for families to do. And here is one that has been, I, I guess he is family, right? Mayor Messam, uh, Willie Stewart and Rhythms of Africa. He has been, um, we have been a part of Rhythms of Africa, the city, for so many years now, and it is back. So welcome to the show, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. How, you, how are you? How is everyone? Everyone's good, Mayor. And as I mentioned, you know, this is right up your alley, championing these types of events that are family friendly, um, that everyone can learn from different cultures. And it's coming back to the city of Miramar one more time. Yes, we're really excited about this year's Rhythms of Africa for our residents who may be watching this and you remember the amazing um, previous Rhythms of Africa, especially last year. This year will be nothing short of just as amazing, if not better, uh, with this year's theme of the strength of a woman. And I'm so um, ecstatic to partner once again with Reggae Ambassador Willie Stewart and his foundation that has really done amazing work in Broward County. And we selfishly are proud that our Miramar High Schools, uh, Miramar High School proper, as well as Everglades High School has had the benefit of working hand in hand with Mr. Stewart on this production. And Willie, just tell people who, you know, don't know who you are. I don't know who those people are, but <laughs> that may be watching for the first time, uh, the pedigree the things that you have done, not only just giving back to our community by working with students, but truly a professional, uh, you know, you are a real musician, sir. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I feel at home with uh, the mayor and yourself. I feel like I've had such a great relationship. Over, it's 11 years, believe it or not. And um, it's like every year is like a, a new year to birth something new. You know, I, um, I don't think there's any other city that um, I could have that partnership and close and and be able to deal with youth that way my my story is simple i love drums when i was six born in england and um got the opportunity to be lucky to play music in jamaica with my little band then within a circle third world drummer and then i was able to form to be a, i went to study to be a music facilitator came to 2002 here in in, in florida and this here I am. <laughs> I just love Mayor how he just threw out inner circle and third world. <laughs> you just you just kind of threw that out there like, oh, you know, it's just my little house band. Me and my friend got together. Uh, no, internationally known, uh, Grammy winning, award winning uh, groups that you have been their drummer. But now, as you mentioned, you are a facilitator. You are teaching children. Uh, how to drum and and the rhythms of Africa you've been doing now, as you mentioned, for 11 years, at least with us. Uh, but how did you get that into uh, your system of wanting to give back to the kids? Well, when we were playing in Third World internationally, Ibu and myself would always, who was a leader, would always end up talking to the youth. We always would give advice and listen to them. And it was just a natural instinct that you would be giving back. We, we knew it from the start because so much people and musicians gave back to us. Even Ibu would tell the story. I mean, it's not here now, but um, the story when he was a young man and we played at a place called Dizzy. And after the show, Bob came to visit. He was there at the disco. And I'm sorry, sir, him, Bob. Bob. Bob Marley. Yeah. Bob Marley. And he said <laughs> that, you know, what, what advice would you give young people? And he says, listen, you see a sound man? Make sure it's like someone very close to you because look at this. And you talked. You see, not hearing me. That's the communication between you. And he said to him, listen, lawyer, your doctor, make sure you don't upset them because it's very important. You know, it was very interesting. So these guidelines of, I think that as musicians, we should be able to advise our young people and pass on. To be a rock star, yes, you have Rolling Stones with Bob Marley. I mean, going through. But there's a time when we reached our grandfather stage where 
you have to look at what are you leaving back to pass on? What is going to be your legacy? And I think this is what's important, you know? Right. And I want to say too, Willie, that, you know, as you mentioned, you've worked with international stars. You have been in an internationally uh, acclaimed band. It's not just the technique that you're teaching the kids. It's actually life lessons as well, because we all know that sometimes, um, you know, rock stars and musicians uh, have a, a certain lifestyle that doesn't lead to, uh, you know, living very long sometimes, of but course. that, you know, there you have to, I guess, teach them about those pitfalls as well, not just how to do the drum techniques. Very much so. You have to be, you have to be truthful and from your heart. In mu me, music was always like a divinity kind of thing to me. When you play, it was an opportunity. There's not one day of your life that you're working because it, it's so enjoyable. And it, it, it does so much for you, education-wise, traveling, playing, audience response, just playing with musicians on stage. It, it is it's something. So you have to tell them the truth about the business. Music is one thing. The business is a whole different world. So they have to be aware of their copyright infringement. They have to be aware of when they go, how do they dress? How do you present? And the most important with young musicians now, what do you want to, what do you want, how do you want your audience to, to, per, to perceive you as? So in other words, I tell some of the young musicians, especially the young women, you go out there and as we know, you can go out there and, and do stuff being young, but then you have to answer later on when you have your kids. Mm -hmm. And once you put something on that tape, you cannot take it back, video or vinyl or whatever digitized. It's there for life to haunt you. So I, I think that if our young people know the power of music, they would think of what do I want to do? How do I want to see my message? Who am I really? Because there's so much other people in the business that will use you and you're as good as your last hit. So you have to have a concept from day one. And because later on when you get older, you can't say I was young. Then what are you going to tell the children? So it's, it's a very responsible. So I ask musicians, when you're out there talking and saying, be careful because a lot of people listen and you can influence. Look at Bob Marley, One Love Movie. Look at the years. Look how much years. Right. It shows you the power of music. Little Jamaica. So that should be a lesson to all of us that, you know, know what you're doing. And if it does come up, don't make it be something that you're ashamed of down the road. And Mayor Messam, I'm sure you have that same, um, you know, speech when you talk to kids as well, or, and even adults. But I love the fact for people who have not seen Rhythms of Africa, and it's going to be coming uh, very soon. We're going to tell you how you can get tickets at the city of Miramar. Um, I have seen it. It encompasses all races, all ages, because Willie brings professional um, musicians to come in and actually perform with the kids. But it's just, it's really amazing, the melting pot that is up on stage and the kids are learning all of the different instruments. Yeah, in, in my opinion, this is the preeminent, the premier event um, of the city of Myanmar because this, this production actually reflects who we are as a community. Uh, the city of Myanmar being so diverse, having residents from so many nationalities that are here we all are joined at the hip by the connection to Africa, especially from a cultural standpoint. When you look at our music, when you look at a lot of the traditions, uh, there are so many African um, legacy items and traditions that have survived the Middle Passage, that have survived slavery, that have survived all the, the colonialism and the transition to where we are today. I and mean, then when you come to the rhythms of Africa, it's like a journey, a musical journey. And with all the many nations that are represented, not just in music, but in voice and in song, it's something that everyone can connect with, everyone can enjoy. And the beauty of it is that our children are the cornerstone of the production. They are there front and center. And when they can be taught under the tutelage of individuals like Willie Stewart and some of the icons of the industry, you know, we take it for granted, but if you really think about the, the, the value that brings to the educational and the cultural experience for our youth, I mean, you have parents that pay tens of thousands of dollars for arts programs just mm -hmm. to be instructed by 
an instructor that was inspired by Willie. Stewart. And, <laughs> and it's not really Stewart, Bob right? Marley. And, you know, right. and you have the real McCoy that is right there that's teaching students, um, you know, the, the beauty of being a professional and an artist, as Willie just illustrated. You can't put a value on it. All right. And so the show is coming back to the Miramar Cultural Center. Um, tell us how people can get those tickets, Mayor Messam. Well, the tickets, are, as you stated, uh, we have two shows on Saturday, March 16th. Um, as well as Sunday, March 17th. Uh, March 16th is at 7 p.m. And Sunday at 5 p.m., you can go to the MiramarCulturalCenter.org um, to get your tickets online, as well as um, there are some consignment um, um, outlets that are in the community as well. And the uh, Caribbean community know exactly where to go. Some of the restaurants and some of the folks where they've gotten their tickets from in the past will have them available. But you can go online at MiramarCulturalCenter.org um, to purchase your tickets. If you are just tuning in, we are speaking with Mayor Wayne M. Messon from the great city of Miramar, our city, along with Willie Stewart, uh, the former drummer of the, the band Third World, uh, Inner Circle. Uh, you know, he knew Bob Marley personally. <laughs> uh, and of course, he is and has been doing Rhythms of Africa now with the city of Miramar for more than 11 years. But this year, The Strength of a Woman, that is the theme, Willie, you've got some folks that are coming in. Uh, tell us who's on this bill with you. I'm going to, let me thank the mayor. I, I don't have to say nothing about embrace and what I'm about. The man is so eloquent. <laughs> and also I call him, I have to tell him, each time I can tell the story that he, on the last show, the man, there's no mayor I ever see play the drums and tear down the place. I just, he was the star of the show. Oh, that mayor. <laughs> was I was. Yeah, man, you should have seen it. it. <laughs> People still talking about it. And, and I think that's a great thing. Why? When you can do that, you encompass everything. And I know his heart is dealing with the youth and the community, but you can't beat that. Our stars on the show, well, we know our children are the stars. They, they, they're something else. But who we bring in is, first of all, Itana. She's strength of a woman. She has her song, Strong Woman. And uh, I hear the show that she did with um, Tony Rebel's show. Wow, everybody talking about it. And she just did something in Jamaica for, for the reggae month. So she's coming in hot, hot, hot. But when I say hot, 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 I can't mix it up because we have the Soka. We're lucky to have the Soka queen. I didn't know this, but she also was given. She and Rihanna from Barbados have the title of um, ambassador, official by the, uh, the uh, I think it's a prime minister, am I right? Oh. Of, of, of Barbados. They have the only two that have the official ambassadors of, of destination for their country. And I hear when you have to introduce her, you have to introduce her as doctorate. She has a doctorate. So she's coming with big, I think, um, big, big, heavy. And, and, you know, when she dance and sing and do her thing, I, know I have to kind of <laughs> guide it to more of the audience. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dr. Allison High for you, right? <laughs> you know, it is. But it's going to be great because having someone from Barbados now, Africa is wide, a diverse, as the mayor said, and we want to not only, because a lot of times we've had top Jamaican artists, but we're now stretching out with more surprises to give other countries, other in the diaspora, a chance to speak within that. That's, that's our whole dream, to make everybody have a say within the show and the structure that everybody that comes to show, if it's Spanish, if it's from Haiti, Puerto Rico, wherever, uh, now it's Barbados and Trinidad, that they can see themselves within it. So we're not coming and saying, boy, we're saying Jamaica only. We have done a lot of that. We're trying now to move out now to give everybody something to stretch our audience. And also we have also a young lady is with Beris Hammond, who she's a lead singer, who I happen to have known for years and had a big hit song in Jamaica. She's coming over. And for the first time, we're going to have a chance to play a Beris song in our show. I'm so, I'm so excited about that. And also we have this little girl called Kelani. Really? Can I can I sing can I sing Barris's part with no, her? No, no. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that's Barry a good idea. Concert, the, please, no, no, you can't okay. give away you can't give away you can't give away secrets, you know, sir. Yeah. <laughs> it's He's go viral. It might go viral. <laughs> yes. So we have young Kila um Kelani who will be singing and doing her thing. Um and she's 12 years old. And um the mayor could talk a little about that, about her. 
Yeah, so K Kalani is the daughter of Camila McDonald, and her father' name remind me again. Is it is it Jacure? Is it Jacure? Right. For yes. those who are um, who are familiar with uh, with reggae and dancehall, so Jacure is a very prominent um, singer, and Kamina McDonald is a wellness um, influencer, actually international. Um, she really blew up during the pandemic, or she has a following around the world, and she actually was in Myanmar last year and we had about 300 yogis and uh, fitness gurus right in front of city hall but the surprise was that her daughter 12 year old she sings like a bird and she sung for the uh, audience and you can tell that she is a star in the making so i'm really really excited that she's been added to the lineup and i'm really excited for our kids to be able to hear her she is definitely going to be the next generation of singers and performers, and um, you'll you have to come to see her. So uh, we're really excited about this lineup. I thank you, Mia, because when the people saw them there, and I was there with you, and they says, "We want to know," and you says, "Willie, no, <laughs> Rhythms of Africa, <laughs> two things, sir, and I have to bring up your 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 vision is is phenomenal because real and truly, we started with the, at, at Miramar High School with the idea. Of strength of the woman, but tell me your idea that we discussed after leaving the school. Yes, yeah, so so we we were with Everglades High School last year, featuring on uh, their students, and they actually sung with Julian Marley, who and on the he on the eve of him winning a, a Grammy. So now those kids can say they performed with the Grammy award awardee. And we said, okay, so we're going to do Miramar High School in 2024. So I said, you know what, um, Taurus Riley. It went as an alumnus of Miramar High School. Let's see if his schedule would allow for him to be one of the feature artists and we can use, it'll be in March. Uh, March is Women's History Month and he has this hit song called She's Royal. And I said, it would be great if we could, you know, kind of tie that home, Miramar High School, Taurus Riley, Women's History Month, She's Royal theme. But it would happen that his travel schedule did not allow him to be able to be available that weekend. We tried, we tried, but was unable to make it. So then Willie transitioned. He pivoted and said, you know what? Let's make it all women, Women History Months, and we'll call the theme Strength of a Woman. So that's how it... <laughs> which is a shaggy, which is a shaggy song. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming together. Listen, this is all Rhythms of Africa. It is all happening on March 16th and 17th at the Miramar Cultural Center. I can tell you right now, if you do not have your tickets, you must get them now at miramarculturalcenter.org. This sells out every year. I have been there when people have been standing outside trying to get in, trying to get tickets at the box office. So do not wait. It sells out every year. And we are looking forward to another year with the city of Miramar. Thank you, Mayor Wayne M. Messam, for taking this on as one of your initiatives. Thank you, Willie Stewart, for what you are doing for our students and giving them um, that confidence to be up in front of audiences, to uh, have them showcase their talent. I mean, this all works together for the good all the time. So uh, thank you very much, both of you, for being here. And again, get those tickets, miramarculturalcenter.org for Rhythms of Africa coming to the Miramar Cultural Center, March 16th and 17th, two shows you don't want to miss it. Some people come back for, for both shows, right, Willie? Right, that has happened many times. They yeah. like the first one so much they come back. Well, I'd like to thank everybody, our sponsors. I'd like to city, the mayor, everybody, the commissioners, and, and you, Tamara, and, and thanks to the lovely people of Miramar and all who come to see the show, because without them, we're nothing, and we just hope to continue but you know making progress with our children because they need the love they need the love <laughs> and we love you thank you willie stewart and thank, thank you. you mayor wayne m messam until next time i'm your host tamara g thank you so much for watching good morning miramar until next time see you thank you mm -hmm.